Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple surprisingly released iOS 11.2 Beta 6. I wasn't sure that they were going to release this this soon, we thought maybe next week, but they released it and it was 2.12 gigabytes on my iPhone 10, and that generally indicates that this is going to be the final version. What that does is kind of wipes the file system puts in the whole new file system and keeps everything intact, but basically lets you know that we're probably on the final version unless they find a little bug. Let's take a look at this build number. The build number is 15C114, and the shorter build number, again, usually indicates that this is going to be the final version. And if it is the final version, that means when the final comes out and if it's using the same build number, you'll already have it. And all you'll need to do to basically finalize that if you wanna stay on the non-beta program, uh, is just go to your settings, scroll down to the bottom, go to profile, go here and delete the profile, reboot the phone, and you'll be on the final version if that's the correct build number for the final. We'll know that when it comes out, of course. Now with this update, there's nothing new in it. It's nothing new from the previous couple of betas at this point. It will have the Apple peer-to-peer -peer payments through messages. It will also have a couple little features, and we'll talk about that once the final's out so we know exactly what's in it. But as far as this particular version, there's nothing new. Everything seems to be smoother. A lot of people on forums were saying it was smoother. And on different phones, as well as the 5S, since this is the oldest device that allows you to use iOS 11.2 or iOS 11 on it, this one is usable, of course, it's not going to be as fast as, say, the iPhone 8 Plus or the newer phones, but it's it's usable, it's working okay. You'll see things are a little bit slower, of course, and a little less smooth when you're scrolling, but it's usable and working okay. Now, I know quite a few of you have told me you want me to see how it works on the iPhone 6 and 7. Unfortunately, right now, I can't do that, depending on what phones I have updated to iOS 11.2 but quite a few of you have said you wanted to see different phones. So I polled you on Twitter and out of 265 votes, most of you just wanted to see the iPhone 10, iPhone 8 plus, and quite a few of you said iPhone six or eight or seven, it just depends. And obviously that's going to correlate more with what you have personally, but I'll try and show all the different ones where I can. And of course I did a geek bench on this. And while it's not very indicative of a whole lot of stuff. What we have here is very similar scores to what we had before. So 4217 for single core, 10,106 for multi-core. It's a little less than before, and these are both run within about 15 minutes of the update. I try to be consistent to get consistent scores. Obviously, after a day, it may increase slightly, but basically everything seems to be smooth. 3D touch is nice and fast. No issues whatsoever. I had no issues with beta five as far as battery, and I have no issues with beta six so far or what might be the gold master or GM. So that's pretty much it for beta six. Hopefully it's the gold master and we see the final release for all of the phones that support iOS 11 on Monday or Tuesday. If we do have that, I'll be sure to do a video on that and give you all of the new features that come with it. And hopefully it's working well for everyone running beta six. I'd love to know your experience in the comments below and also let me know which phone you would prefer to see this on. I'd love to hear what people have to say. Obviously the iPhone 10 people want to see what's new, but it doesn't mean you want to see that every single time. So I'd love to know if you'd like to see all of these phones or just one or just like to hear your thoughts on that. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll leave it in the description below like I always do. If you wanna send me those, you can send them to me via email or through Twitter. And if I use yours, I'll give you a shout out in the description. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron, I'll see you next time.